Yes, my name is uh, Lee Morin, uh, MD, PhD, and I'm an uh, astronaut mission specialist. With Orion, America is building a new spacecraft for exploration. It could involve missions to the moon, missions to an asteroid, missions to Mars, and we want Orion to be able to do all those things, to take four astronauts into deep space and return them safely to the Earth. And the goal was to build a cockpit user interface, a dashboard, so to speak, that would allow the crew to control that spacecraft for that period of time for these deep space missions and to have the flexibility so that even if they were away from the planet for months or even years, that they would have the information they needed to fly that vehicle and return safely to the Earth. And the concept was to go with a glass cockpit, and what that means is that the instruments are all images on a computer screen. They are all on the glass, so rather than flipping a physical switch, the crew brings up a computer screen and flips a virtual switch, a little icon of a switch or icon of a valve. And with the exception of seven panels right around the computer screens, which have about 60 switches, that is all of the cockpit of Orion happens on the glass. One big benefit is a weight savings because you don't have to have a physical switch. And having a physical switch, not only is there the weight of the switch, but you also have the weight of the wire to the switch. And you have to have the weight of circuitry that takes that wire and feeds it into the vehicle computers. By putting that on the computer screen, you save that weight and you save the complexity of those wires. That gives us a lot of flexibility. And as we work with a cockpit, if we find certain ways that we could do it better, it's perhaps easier to update the software than it is to rewire the vehicle. It's been very exciting to see the Orion and the cockpit come together and to see the computer software that I've helped write and my colleagues have been writing come together. And I think that these are the screens that some the first crew that goes to an asteroid will be looking at to help them control the vehicle. These are the screens that the first humans who go to Mars will be looking at as that uh, mission unfolds in the decades ahead. The Orion is going to be the linchpin of humanity's exploration beyond low Earth orbit into deep space. I get a chill thinking about the role that I've had and the privilege I've had to be able to uh, participate in that.